Now, Kenya Kwanzaa officials are warning of tough times ahead as the country faces a huge financial crisis. Medium-term debt management strategy paper published by the National Treasury shows that the country's debt burden now stands at 9.2 trillion. Half of that revenue collected by the Kenya Revenue Authority, amounting to 60 billion Kenya shillings used each month to service the loans. And as Stephen Leto now reports, the country's debt risk level is categorized as high, which limits its access to external funds. The country's economy is facing turbulence. Much of it is the public debt that the current administration has to repay against an unstable revenue collection. Treasury that published medium-term debt management strategy says that total debts accrued amount to 9.15 trillion shillings, with the external debt amounting to 4.6 trillion shillings. Domestic debts are also a concern with their short maturity period. So far, the government owes 4.42 trillion shillings to local lenders. The government owes 671 billion shillings in fast maturing treasury bills, 3.7 trillion shillings as treasury bonds and a pre-1997 government debt of 18 billion shillings. As such, the country is not in good shape in the eyes of the international lenders. Treasury says Kenya's debt carrying capacity has been categorized as medium with the debt risk levels degraded to high, limiting its access to external funding. National Assembly Budget Chair Ndende Nyoro says Parliament has intervened to allocate more money to debt repayment with government operations taking the heat, including government employees who traditionally received salaries in the third week of the month now having to wait indefinitely for their pay. In the next financial year, we want our deficit to come down to below 5%, and, and, and therefore we are in the right trajectory. However, this also comes with a lot of uh, ramifications, because as you know, when our debt for portfolio is 50-50 foreign and domestic, that means more than 5.5, 4.5 trillion Kenya shillings is foreign debt. According to records seen by Citizen TV, the government pays salaries of up to 50 billion shillings every month to its civil servants and an additional 8 billion shillings for pensions. Counties allocations amount to 27 billion shillings monthly with a total of 60 billion shillings spent on servicing loans each month. I am hopeful that uh, that tide will turn and I want to assure all the other people who could be uh, in the same situation, many Kenyans who could be waiting for the salaries to hit their accounts, that we already started paying last, uh, last, last, last week, and hopefully by the end of this Easter week that we are starting, that, that will be a thing of the past. So it is just a hitch. The budget chair says the situation, if not managed, will get out of hand. When we have a debt of 4.5 trillion Kenya shillings in foreign debt, and assume for the assumption of doing the right math, the dollar was 100 shillings, uh, uh, Kenya shillings, uh, or the exchange rate was 100 Kenya shillings to the greenback. If the shilling only loses by one, one shilling or to, uh, to the dollar, if our local currency loses by only 1% to the dollar, meaning it moves from 100 to 101, our debt portfolio immediately goes up by 45 billion Kenya shillings without borrowing a single shilling. That is how bad uh, the situation could be if it's not checked. Although government has blamed KRA for not meeting its targets, the tax authority says it hit 95.1% target, raking in 125 billion shillings in the month of March. In a statement this evening, KRA says we have also kept pace with the revenue collection to prior year collections. Revenue collection averaged 95.1% on the original target and 93.4% on the supplementary target representing Presenting an 8% growth. Stephen Letos, Citizen TV.